Hi, my name is Clinton. You are watching the Fatherhood series with Men and Marriage. Be nice for us to <clears throat> to talk a lot more. I think we when we talk it's kind of cool. When we talk it's nice, but I'd like us to talk a bit more. I'd like my relationship to be one where there's just honesty, openness, and honesty. They're just the two key words. Um, I'm definitely, definitely not of the not of the mindset um, that I would ever testify to saying I know my kids. Um, I know a lot about them, but I think what helps me um, in getting to get to a stage where there'll be the openness and the honesty is not presuming that I know everything about them and being blinkered to thinking I know everything about them. I'm planning to spend a lot more time with them. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I think we're, we're now in a society where uh, the, the, the race has got us caught up in a place where we find it hard to build relationships uh, and uh, I think this year has been quite a hard year, a tough year, particularly with my, my, my eldest son and then having a knock on effect to my two of children purely because of work and, and things and they have grown in, in such a, in a way um, where it's felt like spinning plates, I've actually not seen anything like it purely because my son has gone into secondary school and my, my two other children, um, they've moved up a year and um, I can see the change, I can see a huge change. I think we've got a pretty good relationship so far. I think it's interesting when, uh, when you go through the phases, uh, well, when the child is going through the phases, um, I mean, over the last couple of years when he started to enter into the teenage side of things, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's I, I felt a big change because all of a sudden, you know, I, I see him being very different. He, he's not playing with toys anymore. He's not doing, you know, if, well, his past, his social stuff is completely different. So you realise that initial childhood is then gone. Um, and it makes me think, right, well, you know, that, that's never coming back now. So you've really got to sort of cherish it when, you, when you're in it. Whereas now, so he's in that early teen stage. And I think we still still establishing, the, and so as a result, the relationship changes slightly, the boundaries change slightly. Um, I think now where we are is that we do have a good relationship and we've established new boundaries so you know things have changed so this time next year I don't think there's going to be a much of a difference um, because I think th the main change was perhaps from last year to this year so I think from this year to next year I think it's going to be a case of just maintaining what we've done now now that we've hit those you know, the early teenage side of things it's quite ironic that we're doing this at this moment because only, only yesterday I was um, I was going through my daughter's phone um, and the pictures for, for, through her phone my daughter's 12 and um, I did I turned and I looked to her and I said uh, I said how many of your friends dads would be able to pick up their daughter's phone and go through it messages and photos and all that kind of stuff and there was some stuff that was that was on there that I don't believe should have been on there and so I've got a little sister to delete it, um, which she took great pleasure in doing. Um, but she she said amongst some of her friends that they don't have that relationship at all. Um, and she was surprised at my reaction to some of the things that I'd seen on there, because she probably thought it would have been, uh, you know, I'd have been a bit more angry or annoyed or upset. but. My mind is very open, although I've got very strict boundaries and tight boundaries. I'm quite sure 
he's going to challenge me a little bit more in terms of things and in terms of just you know, pushing back. And to be honest, if he didn't, I don't have to listen to this, but in term, if he didn't, I'd probably be a little bit disappointed because you should challenge your parents because that's part of growing up. You shouldn't just accept things. So I think over the course of the next year, I think, um, I think things might become a little bit more fractious, might become a little bit more argumentative and I'll expect that. Um, but I think it's just gonna be a case of maintaining the closeness that we still have now for next year. We're not told to grow up as parents. We spend most of our time telling our children to grow up, but actually we don't grow up. And that's where I've caught myself at the moment. I've not grown up in my relationship as much as I, I ought to, purely because of being caught up in the race. So th this time next year, I, I hope to have grown up and caught up with my kids so I can um, um, be there in the way that, that benefits them. Find that at their age now, they're finding out things for themselves and independence is kicking in. So um, just more conversation. And you know what? Um, whether they whether the, the conversations are tricky or complex in them. at their age, I don't know. <clears throat> Probably going through stuff. And like like Ben Ben goes through a few things now and again. But because we talk about it a lot, I think it's just amazing. I think I'd want the relationship to be in a year's time where my last line to her was just be able to tell me things. You know, when you when you get in when you get in a difficult situation, just be able to understand and know. Can I speak to my dad? Can I speak to my mum? Can I can I speak to either, either of them? Um, because that was probably where I made all of my biggest mistakes. Um, was when I was in a difficult situation. I didn't feel in any way, shape, or form that I could confide in him. So I went off my own judgment. And invariably it was always wrong, always wrong. Just more of those kind of conversations about <clears throat> determination and you know how he feels about life and certain things. He's brilliant with what he's got. I love like, how he expresses himself and stuff. It's just heavy. So, um, and he inspires me a lot as well. Like just how he breaks stuff down and how he sees stuff. So, I want to know more about how he feels about me. And, how I feel about him. As I say, as the weeks and months pass and the year comes, that uh, there will be a lot of groundwork going in to get in uh, both, uh, both my daughters to a stage where they are able to come and speak to me about the stuff that matters. I think that's the key. The stuff that, don't, the stuff that doesn't really matter is they might be in or there, but those difficult decisions or predicaments or scenarios that they will invariably get themselves in to be able to think, I've got an out here, let me use the right one. It's got such a direct correlation to marriage as well, which was she's 12 and for the best part of 11 years, we've never had an issue with And at the first sign of problems, we can't then start to react as if she's got two heads. This is part of what parenting is. And so we've got to rough it out. It's as simple as that. We've just got to work it out. Um, and I think that when that mindset came to me and sat down and spoke to my 